Alright, hello, welcome to the 11th video. So, now we've talked about a lot, a few different things. Um, I want to introduce to you um, <clears throat> something called combining objects and merging them. Now, there's a few different ways to combine things together. So, if we click on an object so far, whenever we click on an object, we've just basically been moving it all by itself. Um, now, say I wanted, say I have, you know, I have this cube here and I want this relationship between the cube and the, the sphere to not change when I move them to. I can just select them both by clicking out in space and um, selecting them and just moving them together. Okay. Now <clears throat> sometimes that may not give you the results you want. Um, say for example you actually want to rotate this now. but you know they're rotating separately okay say you want to rotate this where you want them to move together you can actually select them both and under the mesh menu you can choose combine now what this does when you do this you notice now when I select one it selects both of them together as if they're one now where's our manipulator a manipulator if you press W goes back and it resets at the origin so how do we move this up now? There's a couple different ways to do this. Um, one, we can do it manually. <clears throat> if you press the D button on your keyboard, you enter into edit pivot mode. So we can see here that our manipulator changes. We get this little circle in the center. Um, now, as long as you keep D pressed down, once you let go, it goes back to regular. <clears throat> So I could hold it down and I could just, you know, kind of move this into where I want this to be. <clears throat> Alright. Or, you can just, if I move this out here, or I can just select my object and come up to modify, which is the third menu. And I have the option to center pivot. Once I click this, it's going to automatically decide where the center of the pivot is. And then it's going to, um, it's going to place it there. So now I know that it's exactly even and flush in the center. But I can still press down D and kind of eyeball it to get it to the center of this sphere. So now when I rotate it, I can get the desired look that I want. Alright, now because these two objects aren't actually together, they're just, they're just combined. I can come back up to the edit mesh menu, well to the mesh menu and just do separate. And then they go back to normal. All right. Now, when I do this, keep in mind your pivot point does jump back to the origin because it actually creates new geometry. This changes every time you do this, so um, you have to come back up to modify, do center pivot, um, and you have to keep on doing that for every for every for every time that you combine them or separate them. All right. Now, another hot key to, to um, to keep in mind, if you press down G on your keyboard, that would redo the last action that you've done. So because our last action was center pivot, instead of going to the menu and doing it again, I could just press G and it would, it would center pivot for this sphere. Alright? <clears throat> 